Hi, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a Lewis dot diagram with a covalent bond. So the uh, compound we're going to be looking at today will be propane, which is three carbons, commonly three carbons, and eight hydrogen. So the first step in how I tackle drawing uh, Lewis dot diagrams is just to really just uh, make sure you know how many valence electrons they are first. So since according to the periodic table, carbon has four valence electrons. So and there's three carbon in this element. So it's four times three, which will give us 12 valence electrons. Now, hydrogen has one valence electron and there's eight of them. So it would be eight times one will give us eight valence electrons. So according to this, and since this is a compound, we need to add them both up, which gives us a total of 20 valence electrons. And while you're doing Lewis dot diagrams, there is a general rule stating that the the element with the least lone pairs, or like with the most lone, like least lone pairs, right, will go into the center. So that's carbon, because hydrogen only has one side not filled because its outermost shell only has two valence electrons, right? Or two electrons to uh, really just be filled. But carbon, because it's exception to the octet rule, but carbon, on the other hand, has four spaces it needs to be filled. So it goes in the middle. So all the carbons go into the middle. And now because of this, we have to look at this in a logical standpoint. So since carbon bonds, let's draw the valence electrons in first. So you see there in the center over here, if you draw it out, right, we have 12 valence electrons. So we have eight missing eight missing valence electrons because we didn't add any hydrogen in. But first, if you see this, right, since carbon is bonded to each other, you can see that we need bonds to fulfill this side of the shell. So let's, uh, let's draw hydrogen in first. So you see how in the outer areas of the uh, element that it still needs one more. So if we add a hydrogen to fulfill the outer shells, And notice how we're not filling in the bonds over here yet. So, and there's single bonds with hydrogen because hydrogen only needs one electron. So if you count them out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you fulfill the 20 valence electrons, so we don't need to add any more electrons to this. This is how it is. But you see, this carbon is still missing in valence electron, this one is two, and this one is two. So how can we solve that situation? They're all missing one. But if we make a bond between both of them, then they both will have a set of octets. Because you see, since this one has seven, this one has seven, this one has seven, if they share electron with each other, and then they share electron with each other, they'll follow the octet rule. So I just drew like a visual like this, but if you were actually going to write it, it would, the final result after you get the bonds would be C, bond, C, bond, C, with hydrogen bond over here, hydrogen bond over here, hydrogen over here. Hydrogen over here, hydrogen over here, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So that's how you do the uh, Lewis dot diagram for propane. And the really trick to this is to just really recognize the pattern and remember to put the central atom with the least lone pairs into the middle. After you do that, you'll realize everything else that fits in place and just realize don't don't do the middle over here like these middle bonds until last 
fill the outer shells first and use your 20 valence electrons or like use calculate how many valence electrons in the formula first to use that to check whether you're doing it right or not and yeah thank you for watching